It's Bob and Tom Tonight, starring Chick McGee, Christy Lee, Josh Arnold, Ace Cosby, Pat Godwin, Willie Griswold, and Tom Griswold. Welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. Christy Lee. Yo. Over there at the Navy Federal Credit Union News Desk. Pat Godwin at the Oxford Gold Group Performance Octagon. <laughs> Gold is shaped like an octagon. It's got eight sides. And, and, and. Eight sided gold, draw for void. <laughs> <laughs> There's Josh Arnold. Our Hi. disclaimer man. Disclaimer man, loose cannon. He's at the DoorDash. Fish lover. Chair. Fish lover. There's Ace Cosby. Hey. There's Willie Griswold. Hey, man. And uh, let's uh, let's go to sports. One, two? Yeah. All right. Uh, here we go. Uh, Major League Baseball. Let's talk about that. Atlanta's lead in the National League East is up to three and a half. Josh, this is where you say this is all available on the internet. Oh, oh. Oh, this is all available on the internet. Uh, up three and a half games over Philly. The Braves are after Freddie Freeman. Fast Freddie Freeman hit for the cycle. <laughs> That's now, always fun, man. That's so cool. Braves 11 to 9. Now, the cycle is the, uh, well, they get a walk. And they get a, uh, no, no, that's not the cycle. They, they, oh, you got your single, your double, your triple, and your and, homer. Oh, well, that's all of them. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you, you get all of them. Did you, ever, did you ever play softball, Christy? Or? No, I have a little problem with depth perception. Look at the front of my cars. <laughs> oh, do you really? <laughs> yeah. Oh. I don't have it. I have a... Didn't you? I you had were... a lazy eye. I was oh. born a little cross-eyed. I didn't little. <laughs> gotcha. All right. Yeah, so I have a problem with depth. So anything with anything involving a ball, I have problems with. <laughs> hey, the Little League World Series is back, kids, but there won't be international teams or 22,000 fans in the stands for the championship. Well, then it's not a World Series. Well, there, the tournament in South Williamsport, uh, Pennsylvania, so will. Is set to start uh, <laughs> today. The uh, uh, COVID, of course, forced the cancellation of the World Series in 20. Uh, this year, the Delta variant has uh, forced these changes, for, especially for several older age groups. But uh, what's, what most fans think of as the Little League World Series with 10 to 12-year-old players on the field will take place over the next week and a half. First up is a game between Connecticut and Hawaii. So oh, okay. Do with oh, it. Well, that's two will. different countries. <laughs> sure, that sure the hell is. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know what they're Almost. talking about. Doesn't Hawaii still have a king? I'm, I'm pretty sure about it. Yes. Yeah. King King King, 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 king Hawaiian bread. King, <laughs> yep, that's it. Nailed it. Is there anything better than that 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 big uh, glob of Hawaiian bread you dig out the middle and put oh, spinach, spinach dip in? Spinach dip uh, in the middle. Mm. My God. Can or you just eat, butter. Can you eat one of those? <laughs> could I, I eat I a could. whole I could. Uh, blob of Hawaiian bread? I absolutely yes, I could. But yes. I, 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 would, I wouldn't feel well. But yeah, of course I could. I could do that. Is it sweet? I've never had it. It's oh, yeah. yes, Pat. Oh, it's, Pat. It's, it is. Oh, not yes. never had it. Pat, Pat, you got oh, dude, it. I'll get you some rolls. Okay. Pat, you get some Hawaiian bread and you cut it in half. You put pulled pork and then you put the rest of it on there and then you cut the sliders out and it's delicious my friend that sounds good Holy moly. Yeah, they you, have you and slider size they do now. i'll yeah. get you some of those you and jimmy are gonna lose your minds okay yeah you, sounds good is there any food you can't hack willie dude i love food so much it's my favorite thing <laughs> in the for a while world. the the big uh, blobby loaf was the only wine right, right. They, they didn't Absolutely. have all these uh, now they have slices and hamburger buns and yeah. hot dog buns and uh and sliders, sliders and, and rolls dinner rolls oh, next I'll, time you're making uh, hamburgers around the house do yourself a favor circle the grocery store a little bit you might have to go to a kosher deli to find some challah buns. Challah is oh, this sure. kosher bread that is cake, my friend. It is oh. just cake. It tastes delicious. Mm. I'm done talking. I'm, I'm sweating over here. <laughs> what about brioche? You like brioche? I, I am like a fan. A brioche. Yeah, I yeah. Like cake. Yeah. That's like cake. Brioche but, makes a nice French toast, by the way. You know who the uh, favorite favorite food is? A uh, brioche, uh, alligators. Oh, who really? Knew that? Yeah. You know, there's only one bread I don't like. I'm the king what? of the Segway, and I will be screamed at. About okay. This. I do not care for Asiago. Asiago. Are you out of your mind? That's What's the that's, that's like the dried cheese on top. Yeah, with oh, the dried well, that's cheese not really bread a bread. Or that's whatever. the cheese. I don't care for it. <laughs> I don't care for rye bread. Oh, I love a good oh, rye. Yeah. Oh, rye. How about beef steak? <laughs> no. Yeah, no. Some, yeah, the sour dry. No. Mm. Yuck. <laughs> All right. All right, sir. Stand by, Pat. Here we go. Ready? Okay. Bring me a uh, piece. Bring me an Asiago bagel. I dare you. Uh-oh. See if I don't frisbee it in the woods. <laughs> Mark, we Mark, need to see how, how, far, how far Josh can throw an Asiago bagel. Oh, Come up dude, later. I will, I will discus that into his back. Oh, here oh, we go. Oh, it's an Asiago bagel. Oh, 
thank you, Mark. <laughs> we got a, a nice Asiago bagel here with. Are you uh, gonna toss oh, it? Oh yeah, it smells like a baked foot. <laughs> and um, isn't that something? No, oh, oh, I love it. Oh, hey, hey. hey. We need, to, uh, we need to pick that up. We I need... told you I would discus it across the room. I think we should somehow go outside and get a tape measure and see how far you can throw that sucker. Let's take bets. I'm all, we're all, yep, they we're doing it. All, all right. right. So, so now we're wasting food. My least favorite comedian. I like to think I'm feeding the birds. Yeah, there's, oh, there's yeah. rabbits out there. there sure. The deer yeah. might like it, I'll watch too. the birds hop up to it, smell it, and run away. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's isn't it very popular. I, I don't care. I have never had one. Well, I'm not going to have one now because you threw it. It's a five-second well, rule. Yeah, we've got a 50-second rule. I'll brush it off. <laughs> no, thanks. No, you know, Asiago bagels, they're good. They're really good. You know there are people that believe in the five-second rule? I do. I sure. kind of do. Yeah, I kind of do. Uh, no. Depending on what now. I drop. It's, it's on the floor. No. no matter what it is. No matter what it is. The problem at my house is who gets it first, the mm -hmm. dog or me. <laughs> I have dropped lunch meat on the floor, and then you can sort of, it's got the residue on it. You can sort of see things from the floor, and then I've, I've, I've put it in there. Yeah, I've gone for it. What? Oh, that's that's right. Now that's right. There are certain yeah. things I won't do. Lunch meat or a slice, like slice of banana <laughs> or a, a scoop of ice cream. Those things, are, they'll go in the trash. <laughs> Hi, everybody. I'm Chick McGee, and we call this... The, the bagel toss. The Asiago no thank you toss. <laughs> Josh doesn't like Asiago bagels. Here we go. <laughs> are we counting the roll? Are we counting the roll? I think we have to count. I think we have to count the roll. Yeah, it's where it stops. All right. Oh! <laughs> are you okay? <laughs> Let's not do that again. <laughs> 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 Mark, you weren't alive, my friend. This is the Bob and Tom Show. Hello. 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 Do I sound like I'm in pain? Are you in pain, man? Uh, a little. What happened? Oh, no. Me too. What buddy. happened? We went out. We went out and... Josh said earlier that he doesn't like Asiago bagels, and what did you say? I said I would frisbee it into the woods if and you gave me one. I, we took that as a, well, let's, by God, let's put his bagels where his mouth is. <laughs> Something like that. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, during the, just now, we all went out and threw uh, bagels I, as far as we could. <laughs> mm -hmm. As and far as I, we could. I think uh, my, my shoulder came out of its socket. The, my oh. shoulder being repaired is legendary. Yeah. Uh, jo well... I don't want to say who won. I had a pretty good throw, but Josh immediately disqualified. He goes, he goes, well, uh, uh, you threw it overhand. I threw it like a, what'd you say? A discus. A discus. Yeah. I threw like a discus. If I had thrown it like you, I would have, I, I could have thrown it even farther. But I could have. No. You two were pretty close, according to Asuke. I'm a little okay. surprised. Should I do the, should I do him? Do him. All right. Coming in. Last, Pat Godwin at oh, 33 yeah. and a half feet. Big, yeah, Pat, big loser, right, Pat, in the, right in the dirt. Yeah, I don't know what, I think you, you throwing reminded me of my throw because mine went right into the ground too and my shoulder denied me a, a proper motion. However, yeah. you went 48 feet. Chuck. Oh, no kidding. Yeah. All right, okay. Pat then, also is the only person with a track and field background, I believe. Right. And I, and I, 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 I lost. Did yeah. you not discus when you were in track and field? No. Oh. Well, and you guys know. I threw, I threw a ball a lot. You guys know the original Olympics. They used an Asiago bagel. That is oh, true. That's true. Yes, that's mm -hmm. back in Asiago is a philosopher. <laughs> Greece, that's Greece, exactly yeah. right. Socrates, Plato, Asiago. So we're down to Josh and Willie. Uh oh. Mm -hmm. Oh, Willie went further. Josh, you went sixty-five feet. Okay. Willie, our Six, champion. Sixty. Seventy. Oh, yeah. I wish it was one less to be a little funnier. I agree with Josh but, on this. I think. Uh, Willie yeah, if, if, if we want to have a contest where we throw it like Willie did, we can do that. Oh my God! No, I'm, like, I'm just saying it doesn't matter to me. But uh, if, if next time we play, can we use my ball? That's what you sound like. I'm gonna oh. go home and get my ball. That way, it's fair. Okay, yeah, no, that's not at all what. Uh, oh God! It's the same bagel, and You're I'm still fine with that. I'm but. resorting to a. Try this is like I'm on a playground all over again, man. I'm going through deja vu. Oh, was it? Was always this tough for you on a playground? Oh, oh, Wait really? Yeah, because you must have just had so much fun out there, stealing bases all all day are long. Are you? With your friends. Are you? You on any steroids right now? Yes or no? I'm not on any steroids. No. Right. If anything, I'm on performance D enhancing drugs. <laughs> Not currently, either. I can eat an Asiago bagel. Real I fast. almost mellowed myself out of the competition. <laughs> I mean, last night, 7 30 p.m., give me that Asiago bagel. No way I'm throwing it. I'm eating it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and there is Allie Breen. Hey, Allie. Hi, guys. How, how nice of you to fit us into your schedule. Now, oh. Hey. Oh. What's let's, uh, let's postpone let's one day. I had to change it up. Uh huh. Yeah. Where are you, Allie? Looks like a hotel room. 
No, no, no. I'm in Atlanta. Oh, I'm good. going back to New York later on today. Gotcha. Yes. You're visiting family in Atlanta? Yep, exactly. Great. <laughs> <laughs> okay, first All letter. Right, got that out of the way. <laughs> <laughs> All caught up. It's 110, meter, 110 meter hurdles today. <laughs> I don't, oh, okay, go ahead. Go ahead. I have been with my boyfriend for three years and he still won't give me the keys to his apartment. Oh, he how says many he needs years? boundaries. Three. Three. Okay. Try not to interrupt her. I'm sorry, I didn't hear. <laughs> he says he needs boundaries and he'll give them to me when I earn them. Oh. Am I right to be upset? Oh. Yes. Yes, was, you do have the right to be upset. And she's still there. <laughs> How do I earn them, Master? Dear God. Yeah. Oh. You do have a right to be upset, yep. Yeah. He yeah. was fine until wow. he used the word earn. Yeah, yeah I mean, yeah. yeah. Boundaries okay. I don't even know yeah. if he was fine at that point. Three years is a long time without no keys. No joke. Right. Earned them. I figured why, you know, pay for the cow and get the milk for free. I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. You leave that milk out on the porch. Right. You don't come. You don't bring it in the house. You don't teach your cow how to unlatch the fence. Because <laughs> you know what? If you do, the cows run around your house. You don't need oh. that. No one needs it. <laughs> <laughs> no, sir. What is the old th the old saying? Get out! Yeah, oh, man. Yeah, yeah that's yep. not good. No. Boy, oh, boy. And these silly people think that uh, they're going to have a relationship with uh, some Somebody. That's a understand. bummer, man. Three yeah. years in, they're yeah. Yeah, yeah. committed. And he says, Yeah. <laughs> no, well, one no. of them's committed. Yeah. Or mm -hmm. maybe, yeah, maybe it's uh, he's uh, he wants out. How do I do this? Maybe. I don't yeah. know. Oh, who knows? Yeah. And, Say earn them. That's how you do it. Yeah, oh. right. How the hell do you earn them? That's. <laughs> Well, I mean, there yeah, are certain things you can do. There are several things women can do to earn something. Oh, is that right? Think, uh, Josh, if you care to take this. <laughs> yes, yes. Uh, let me be the villain here. <laughs> take it away. Well, you've been the villain all morning. Why change things now? Uh, well, <laughs> if I worked with professionals, yeah, well, I wouldn't. Go find a show he's that has He's been in radio. <laughs> said, go find. He's been, in a, he's been in radio compared to me and Christy for 10 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> we have to be professional. Oh, okay. and he's been up my ass all day. Oh. Oh. Yeah, a lot of guys That's like one it. of the things you can do to earn your keys. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Wow. I'm like, here all day. It's like we rehearsed this. Allie, do we have another letter? <laughs> Dear Allie, my boyfriend has a kid and we went swimming the other day. And Get out! <laughs> His kid said I looked lumpy. Ooh, my boyfriend tough. laughed and didn't reprimand him. I've been furious ever since, and he doesn't understand why I'm upset, and he says he's just a kid. How about both of them having some manners? Okay. Yeah. Well, first, put the fork down. Second. <laughs> yes. now, uh, come closer to the radio, Chuckles. Now, here's the thing. No, no. Don't be that upset about this. No. It's the, ki the, the guy doesn't... You can't... How can you reprimand a kid... For being a kid. One know? of my greatest joys when I was a kid was making my father laugh, and I would say anything. Not right. Yeah. And it's just kids, it. kids talk that way all the time. Kids don't have filters. When I worked right. at camp, I was 24. A kid goes, How old are you? I said, 24. And he goes, Oh, well, my sister's 14 and she has pimples. Why do you still have pimples? <laughs> yeah. And the kid wasn't trying to be right. Mean. No, they're just oh, saying, yeah. yeah, exactly. So it's not. You know, all I hope is that uh, during this, uh, the entire uh, process of this, when he asked her what was wrong, she said, Nothing. Of course. I oh. just hope. I, I bet she hasn't yeah. talked to him about this at all. It sounds like Probably she's just not. been simmering, yeah. fuming oh. somewhere. What about this? Start making fun of the kid. I'm lumpy. I keep talking, brace face. See what happens. That's right. You know? uh -huh. Well, no. Or you could just be a confident adult and <laughs> yeah, not hard. let this bother you. I'm sorry, I realized my, it's a my, kid. My, I, I, I got to get a pen. What was that term? Confident just, adult. Confident <laughs> adult. Oh, yeah. Thank you. You have another letter? <laughs> Absolutely. She's laughing because Allie. you guys are so funny. Oh. <laughs> My boyfriend likes to role play and really likes to do cop, prisoner, doctor, patient, teacher, student scenarios. All right. He All is right. a college okay. professor. You have my Should attention. I be concerned? No. No, it's just this thing. That's fun. Why if you don't like it, get out, but uh, it's just this thing. I don't think it's bad. Do you? No. 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 Uh -oh. hey, it doesn't make it sound like he's like lusting yeah. after his students or anything? No. Wait. Wait. <laughs> does he call you by your name during this role play, or does he literally make up a new name for you, like Susie, and then well, you find out Susie's in the front row oh. of his class, and you're like, oh, oh geez. <laughs> <laughs> that would be the trick. <laughs> yeah, no, because the concern is he's a college professor playing teacher-student scenarios. There's a, a disconnect, though. You don't think it matters? Don't you think you'd rather have him doing it that way than actually having sex with his students? Oh, yeah. 
Good point. I didn't want to upset you, so I went ahead and dated one of my students. (laughs) (laughs) Is that cool? Gosh. Wow. Because that's what they say when you fantasize. Like, if you constantly fantasize about threesomes, the guy really wants to do threesomes. So you don't think he's fantasizing about his students? I guess it doesn't matter as long as he doesn't act on it. I mean, some fantasies are best left as fantasies anyway, don't you think? Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, there's no issue here. (laughs) <laughs> I would be suspicious too, though. Uh, Our I think I would too. Josh, is, Josh has, has decreed the there's no <laughs> issue here. Nothing to see here. Let's move on. You're creating an issue. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I don't think there's if an issue. If you don't like role play, get out. <laughs> if you do, do Enjoy it. Enjoy it. God, leave us alone, people. <laughs> <laughs> it's a highway, man. Just ask him one time if you can be the cop and he be the prisoner, though. I mean, I wonder if he lets that happen. Hmm. Sure, uh, yeah. Um, yeah, change it up. Yeah, change it up. Dom sub. Yeah. Become sub dumb. <laughs> sub dumb, yeah. That sounds like a great Chinese dish, doesn't it? All of the shrimp sub dumb. Ah, do you have another letter? Dear Allie, I hurt my back trying a new sex position with my F boy. The injury happened at work. Yes. So I want to find work. workers come. And say that I was lifting heavy boxes. The problem is I already told a few friends what happened. Can you get workman's comp or something like that? I knew a delivery driver who drove drunk and literally got workman's comp. So it's worth a try, right? Oh, gosh. You are a dirt There's bag. no way. I don't know. This is like legit legal advice. I don't know. Even in Christmas. Was... Is the person, if she got it at work, what I'm trying to ask is, is the person that she was with, do, do they work together? Because then you're definitely going to get caught. People at work already know. Oh, exactly. Yeah. Someone's yeah. spilling the beans, especially if you get money. Someone's yeah. going to be mad about that and jealous, and they you will be ratted out. Also, you just confessed this to millions of people. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and there's somebody who's heard it that knows just enough about you to realize, oh, my <laughs> exactly. God, exactly. wait a minute. Oh, my God, that sounds like Steve. Yeah. <laughs> they do say, though, any injury you incur at work is work comp, so there's a shot. There is a shot, and there's a shot that she'll get it. Or Yeah, it's a she, right? It's a she. Yeah. Hurt her back. What, first, I want to know what position. And where did. at work they were. Yeah. Wait, how did it happen? Curious. Boy. They must um, have been in a tight space, so yeah. they had to try something new. Well, you know. Right. Like, Was she holding him up? Or mm. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> something very acrobatic. Yeah. <laughs> no, maybe ask a lawyer if uh, you can get away with it. Right? Like a workman's comp no, lawyer. I, Work injury lawyer. I'm with him. She's a scumbag. <laughs> Come on. You made your bad this, lie in yeah, it. Yeah, this is... Uh, well, my dream is I collect workman's comp for the rest of the... <laughs> oh, boy, you're a real go-getter. Congratulations. <laughs> that would be the life, though. Boy, oh, well, boy. Well, it's workman's comp or sexual harassment, so which one can you get away man, with? Man, oh, man. And you, really one will pay off the other. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I got a suspicion she's not in danger of being sexually harassed. Okay. Oh, sorry. Never mind. No. Never mind. Oh. Never mind. Oh, well. This yeah. is a real bunch of letter writers we got today. <laughs> yeah, we yeah. Yeah, sure yeah, it my is, God. Right? Just... <laughs> it's kind of nice, though. Not so much a, my man cheated on me or this, this, and this. A little bit of a different category. Oh, we got one of those. You want one of those? Uh, yes, oh, boy. Here we go. Uh, dear Allie, I'm dating a divorced guy who has an apartment that I stay at occasionally. He never stays at my place, and I only stay at his once a week. I hid my iPad in his car and used the Find My iPad app over and over to see what he's up to. Wow. He's been going home. Yeah. Wow. He's been going home to his wife and kids. How do I handle this? I'm pretty sure I could ruin his life. Oh, Oh. no. You know, I was ready to give you a sound answer until I'm pretty sure I could ruin his life. Oh, man. Wait, did you know he was married ahead of time, or this is how you found out he's got wife and kids? Because you probably drove there to find what that location was and watched him from across the street. Right. Ozzy, this sounds like oh, you've yeah. done it before. Oh, no, yeah. but she's she's probably a step too far. She's like straight up guano crazy a little bit. Sorry. You don't put your iPad in there. But hey, just get out of the relationship. End it. Call it. Yeah. I wouldn't ruin his life. No. no. A person does no. that. Even though you've, she technically has been wronged here, right? Right. 
No, uh, you don't need to ruin his life. That's not going to... Uh, honestly, in the long dinner? run, that won't make you feel better. Yeah, she no. doesn't sound like a reasonable... Well, lost that one. Yeah, no. no. That's not going to happen. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you're going to ruin not only his wife, uh, his life, but his wife's, his kids, everybody. Exactly. Don't, no, no, no. Yeah, that's going to blow up. Scorched earth but, yeah, he's oh. a scumbag. He'll figure it out on his own how to ruin his life. So don't let you... Don't, there you there, go. Yeah. There is yeah. Josh. You can still get your revenge. Just <laughs> don't tell him you know about it, unless he already does, and uh, start seeing somebody else. So basically let him know, like, yeah, I'm seeing somebody else. No big deal. Also, who are you dating? Are you dating Adam Sandler and Uncut Jim? This is exactly the plot of Uncut This is insane. I got several places to live around the city. Yeah. yeah. That is so odd. <laughs> was that the plot? He was actually married and pretending not to be? It's, it's just, it's, it's, so much, it's not, it's, it's sort of a subplot. Uh -huh. I, I was taking some liberties there, Ali. <laughs> Ellie, are you working this weekend at That's all? a great I, question. Yeah. 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 I am. I'm at the comic strip live in New York City, Upper East Side. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. Mm. Right. Yep. Well, have fun in Atlanta, yep. and we'll see you or hear from you next week as yes. well. Yes. Safe travels. Sounds yeah. good. Okay. Perfect. Thank you. Thanks, Thanks, Ellie. Great letters today. Oh, wow. Boy. Well, after that episode, oh, I'm tired. Watch the entire show live or on demand at bobandtom.com or listen live with the Bob and Tom app. And be sure to tune in next time for more Bob and Tom Tonight.